There have been many different Call of Duty titles over the years. Some we love, some we can't stand. But whether you love them or you hate them, it hasn't stopped the franchise from grossing over $15 billion with their games. This is a history of Call of Duty. Call of Duty began on Microsoft Windows and later expanded to consoles and handhelds with several spin-off games having been released. The earlier games in the series were set primarily in World War II, including Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, and Call of Duty 3. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, and other games since have been set in a modern and future times, making the series shift focus away from World War II. The Call of Duty games are published and owned by Activision. While Infinity Ward is a developer many Call of Duty fans swear by, Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games also develop several of the titles and have their own set of loyal fans. The release of the studio's games alternate with each other, providing a new Call of Duty release every year. Some games have been developed by Grey Matter Interactive, Nokia, Exact Entertainment, Spark Unlimited, Amaze Entertainment, In Space, Aspire, Rebellion Developments, IdeaWorks Game Studio, and Instigate Games. As of February 2016, the Call of Duty series has sold over 250 million copies and sales of all Call of Duty games topped at $15 billion. Other products in the franchise include a line of action figures designed by Plan B Toys, a card game created by Upper Deck, Mega Block sets by Mega Brands, and a comic book miniseries published by Wildstorm Productions. The main series of games consist of several titles, each set within a different story arc. The original Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, and Call of Duty 3 were all set in the World War II era, while the three Modern Warfare titles were set in, well, modern times, and they're not entirely based on any factual wars. The Black Ops games were set in mostly a near-present and future world, while World at War was set in a World War II feeling era. The three independent story arcs, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare, are the most recent titles released, yet Another game, Call of Duty World War II, is set to release November of 2017. Because there are so many different Call of Duty titles, I wanted to keep this video sort of short and sweet, so here are some honorable mentions. There were also four cancelled titles of Call of Duty. Call of Duty Combined Forces, Call of Duty Devil's Brigade, Call of Duty Vietnam, and Call of Duty Roman Wars. Combined Forces was a proposed concept draft originally intended to be a sequel to Call of Duty Finest Hour, but due to legal issues that arose between Spark Unlimited, Electronic Arts, and Activision as well as other production problems, the game's draft and scripts never came to be. Eventually, Activision deemed the pitch as more of an expansion than something entirely new, so they just rejected the whole proposal entirely, which also saw the end of their contract with Spark Unlimited shortly after. Call of Duty Devil's Brigade was a cancelled COD title for the Xbox 360 developed by Underground Entertainment. The game was to be set once again in World War II, this time focusing on the Italian campaign. Call of Duty Vietnam was a third-person shooter set during the Vietnam War. Yes. A third-person Call of Duty game was in development at one point in time. Set in the Vietnam War. I I just don't understand why they didn't think that was going to work. That game could be cool, just maybe not as a, as a Call of Duty game, you know? I don't know, though. It was in development for at least six to eight months at Sledgehammer Games, but development was stopped because Infinity Ward needed help finishing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Infinity Ward's like, hey, we've had a bunch of people have left our company. Uh, we had to get rid of a bunch of people, so can you guys help us? And that caused them to stop working on Vietnam. I can't say I'm that brokenhearted about it. Call of Duty Roman Wars was a canceled third person and first person video game. So they're gonna try the third person thing again, only this time use first person as well. Kind of like, I guess, Fallout or Skyrim. It was, I mean, obviously set in ancient Rome and allowed players to take control of the famous historical figure, Julius Caesar, along with some low grunts and officers of the 10th legion 
It was eventually canceled as Activision had uncertainties about branding it as a Call of Duty game. And ultimately, it is up to Activision what gets released as an actual Call of Duty title. And, I mean, better their burden than mine, honestly. Yeah, they've had some Call of Duty games that I didn't necessarily like, but I don't want the burden of making that multi-million dollar mistake because I said, no, this idea isn't good. However, I don't think Ancient Rome or the Vietnam game would have been a good idea. I don't think those were multi-million dollar ideas. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys think? Any of those titles that were canceled, something that you might want to play? Is there anything that you felt like I missed? We feel free to elaborate and we can discuss those things in the comments below. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe. If you learned something new, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like to let me know. Feel free to speak to me. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where I go behind the scenes on some of the cosmetic stuff that I do for the case mods and controllers, things like that. If this is your first video with me, you've never seen me or heard of me before, welcome to the video. Thanks again all of you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.